In my previous video where I did the buying camera accessories challenge at $250, I did something that you're not supposed to do. Piss off the internet. And this is what I wanted while traveling through South Africa. South Africa. South Africa or South America? It was clearly written South America. That's a costly mistake on your part, man. South Africa, multicolor telephoto lens. Dude, you need to spend your time in quarantine practicing your reading. South Africa? Is that where Chili's at? South Africa? Not South Africa, mate. South America. Okay, so I exaggerated. I don't think the internet is that mad, but I'm actually genuinely surprised how well received that last video was. And a lot of you have even commented that I didn't even need to make that warning in the beginning of the video about me feeling guilty about making a video about spending money on random accessories during this whole COVID-19 situation that we're in. In fact, a lot of you appreciated it and loved the fact that that kind of video brought back some normalcy into your life. And I'm just so glad because my original intent was to make a fun video of me just playing around with random accessories and I'm glad that was clear. So we're back at it again. This time we're upping the challenge to $500. For our first item, we have this Sony Alpha branded camera bag. How many of you know that Sony actually makes camera bags? They don't really advertise this, but it has a nice little Alpha logo on it. Let's see what's inside. Not bad, I like the orange that's inside. I don't know if it's that fashionable though. I <laughs> the only reason why I marked down a star is because Sony always costs more for their accessories. Not sure why I can get a bigger Canon case for this price, LOL. But anyways, for what it is, it's okay. My man, my man. Firstly, the construction and materials are good, but that's not why I love it. That's not why he loves it. It has outer pouches that hold various things like extra memory cards or batteries, but that's not why I love it. <laughs> he wrote it twice, but that's not why I love it. It has a shoulder strap that enables easy carrying, but that's not why I love it. Oh my God. Oh, I love this guy. I love this bag because it's cavernous. Cave, caveness, cave, what? what? I think one of the other comments is right. I need to go practice my reading. <laughs> this bag will work just fine for you. Okay, Justin, you sold it to me, buddy. So I'm not sure if anyone out there can agree with me, but usually when camera manufacturers make their own accessories, AKA this camera bag right here, um, they don't look very good. Like I'm a type of guy that like, that's like, Function meets fashion, right? So it has to have a cross. So it has to look good and it has to hold a bunch of stuff. So that's what Peak Design is for me. You know, Peak Design is not sponsored in this video. I'm a big Peak Design fanboy. You guys already know that. Next up, a video handheld stabilizer grip that can take high quality images. Why would someone use this to take photos? Wedding photography? I have never seen a wedding photographer use this, all right? Video, maybe, but wedding photographers, nah. that's why you get something like this. You, you can you can take a photo of a grasshopper, low angle. So I know what they're going for. There is a tool like this in filmmaking and videography. It definitely does help a lot, but the way that they are, they are advertising it to be a great photography accessory, I don't know. I'm gonna try it out. I'm just gonna put it in my bag for now. Jeez, $500, what was I thinking? Next up, this seems like something that can magnify our LCD viewfinder. How does this look like it's advertising this product right here? Like, he, it's clear that this person is not even using the product in the advertisement. It clearly looks like it got photoshopped in. This is like a stock footage and they clearly photoshopped this in. Oh, cool, there's a video. Are you, you just demonstrate the product. Demonstrate the product. Okay, thank goodness this person actually showed the back of the screen. Thank you. I don't know if a majority of people would find this useful. I'm just gonna add it to the cart anyways, because I'm getting desperate here. Oh God, they have one for the full frame. Oh jeez. Oh God, it's so ugly. <laughs> oh my God, this thing can break grounds. It's groundbreaking, get it? Oh my goodness. I don't think I want this on my camera. I don't want this to destroy the earth. I actually dropped my Sony a7 III back in January, so this would have been this would have been nice. You know what? It's it's not as ugly. The red is just too is too much. There's white, there's yellow, and there's a camel. 
three. <laughs> okay, I'm getting the white one. Oh, this is a different one. Ooh, this one looks way nicer than the one that I... This one has a matte look to it, which I like way more than the first one we saw. It's double the price, but honestly, if I had to choose between the two, I'd probably go for the better looking one. I mean, when you're carrying a camera bag, it's almost part of you. It's it's part of you. So if you care about how you look, you gotta, you gotta get the one that matches your look, so. Oh, I actually been needing something like this, a L bracket for whenever I wanna shoot in portrait mode for a uh, landscape. So I actually wanted something like this. We gotta buy at least some cool accessories, okay? All right. See, now this, this is how you make a product video, okay? You demonstrate how it's used, not an unboxing. Okay, I've never actually browsed for accessories on V&H. I just go straight for either the um, product itself, like lens and cameras, but usually not the accessories, so. Oh, geez, man, 3,000 products. Oh man, so the thing with B&H is that they don't really group the similar items together. They kind of just have it one by one. Oh, this is gonna be so annoying. Man, I like Amazon more. It's so much easier to browse. And that things are cheaper too. See, this is what I mean. I think this does the same thing as the other thing that we were talking about, the enlarging of the LCD screen. This one is $575. This is gonna destroy our budget right here. Now this is how you shoot a video. <laughs> oh, it's like a Bluetooth thing, built-in record button. You know how I said I'm the type of guy that likes fashion meets function and I prioritize fashion over function? Yeah, if it's $545, I, I, I'm gonna go with function. <laughs> Holy hell, that's expensive. If you're trying to find fun items on B&H, it's probably not the spot. You come here for the, the good stuff. Okay, okay, I think we just have to be creative here. We just have to start searching for other products instead of just typing in Sony. So what is what do we need in this world? What do, what do we need as a photographer? Camera straps. This is like carrying a baby here. <laughs> oh man, you're trying to make a, are you trying to make a fashion statement here? Oh my goodness. Hey, 448 people got this. Let's see, let's see the pictures. This lady's enjoying it. This lady's also enjoying it. Hey, she got the flower design. I might rock that flower design too. Wow, talk about chess harness. This one's got the other one beat. With this, yeah, if you are a DSLR shooter, you're gonna need something like this. Now this one is definitely marketed towards the female demographic, but it looks super nice. I, I kind of like it a lot. This might be good for Vivian. I'm gonna have her pose with this one, actually. Tripods. People need tripods. Oh, this is gonna be perfect for those top-down shots. All right, so the reason why this piques my curiosity, and this is just for my own personal interest, is that this, is, this reminds me of this thing I used to do back in college. Books are notoriously expensive, right? College textbooks. So what I did was, as a film major, I have a camera. So I would just set my camera on the tripod and it pointed down on the table and I just flipped the page every second until I go through the whole book and I upload that video onto YouTube. So whenever I go home for the weekend, I can still pull up my book on the internet and read it. Genius, right? I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. But hey, I mean, save money, buy camera gear and uh, not spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on books. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Quick reference cards. These cheat sheets include 20 pages of helpful photography tips. Oh, so it's like a size of a point and shoot camera. So I think this is kind of useful for people who are just starting out without having to pull up your phone and dig up some information. I think this is like a good pocket uh, sort of accessories. Yeah, you know what? Um, 82 reviews, five stars solid. Let's, uh, let's try it out. And the last item we'll be buying is this Telesyn Charger SD card reader combo for the Sony FZ100 batteries. In my last video, I bought the one that's for the smaller Sony NPFW50 batteries, but I didn't test it because I complained about the cable. And hey, now I know you can use the smaller USB cable for this type of plug as well. So this time around, I'm gonna make sure to include a brief test. 
Oh, I'm forty dollars short. Okay, you guys gonna have to forgive me on this one. Okay, I legit sat in front of my computer for two hours just browsing around. Okay, this is the best that I can find. So uh, let's check out with it. A lot of it's gonna come around April thirtieth, which is the end of the month. It's currently April eighth right now. So hopefully they come sooner, but we'll see. All right, so while we wait for the accessories to arrive, I actually got one right here that I didn't buy because this is an ad. <laughs> but I promise you, this is dope. This is a credit card size LED light. This is the LumeQ Pano Mini. I've actually been using their original Pano for better part of half the year now, and it's been a great complimentary light for big projects like weddings and nighttime photography, but also standalone light work. Eh, get it? Light work? For stuff like fixing the drainage underneath our sink. I've actually thought this was pocket enough already. This is like a size of an iPhone XL. But now they managed to come out with something even smaller. This is like almost less than half the size of the original panel light. The Pano Mini is even more compact and it's super bright, but not too bright where it hurts the eyes. They added this frosted lens as a default soft diffusion, so you can use this for selfie style vlogging or even nighttime portrait photography. But also at 100%, grab two of these, a telephoto or a macro lens, and you can shut down the background for some cool product shots. It is incredibly adjustable. You can go from 3200 Kelvin to 5600 Kelvin, so you can balance the color in any lighting situation. And on the back here, it tells you how much time you have left before you need to recharge it, depending on the power level that you are using it at. And you can recharge it with a USB-C cable. Thank God. By the way, if this is still too bright, you can add extra layer of diffusion which comes with the light. It's $59.95, $60 for this high quality pocket light. It's rated 96 CRI, so if you know, you know. If you don't know, just take my word for it. <laughs> so thank you, LoomQ, for sponsoring a portion of this video. Now let's crack open some Amazon boxes. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. The problem is I don't remember what I ordered since it's been like three weeks ago since I placed an order and they all finally got here. Well, let's just get right into it. Good job, Amazon. Wow, look at this little rubbery condom for your camera. <laughs> so I think it just kind of slided in from the top. I don't think they teach you this kind of thing in, uh, <laughs> in school. You know, you gotta practice safe shooting, am I right? I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. Okay, it sounds like it's softened the blow. Pro support is watching this and they're gonna be like, we're not gonna fix your camera for you, you're gonna have to pay. <laughs> it, it will offer a bit of protection if you drop it on the floor. I mean, still, that when that gravity hits, it might damage something internally, but it, it might at least cushion the fall a little bit. I would say this is a pretty worth it product. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but they have the little buttons kind of edged in. Hey, how's it going? Uh, so you can still access all the buttons. They're not blocked still working just fine. It's a little bit slippery, but uh, yeah, I'll give it a pass. I say that like I'm rating these items. I'm really not. <laughs> Movo VF40 Pro viewfinder. Wow, it really does magnify the display. And this giant eyepiece here blocks out a lot of the external lighting. So if you're shooting somewhere where there's really bright sun or bright lights, this is gonna come in handy. However, as you can tell, this is gonna bulk up the form factor of your camera. So be prepared for that. You know, not gonna lie, I thought this thing was pretty stupid before I bought it. But actually, now that I tested it, it's actually pretty cool. Ooh, Sony Alpha Orange. Technically, it's not orange. They call it the Cinnabar color. So, Sony Cinnabar color. Aw, oh, yeah, look at that. Cinnabar on Cinnabar. Aw, oh, yeah! Oh, snaps! Yes! Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing! Vertical setup shoot. Oh, yes! Oh, I needed this for all those stupid time lapses and those vertical shots that I needed to do while I'm out traveling. And now I have this little nice L bracket right here. Oh, yes. And it works with the Peak Design Travel Tripod too. Oh. 
It's because the Peak Design also uh, made it compatible with the Arca Swiss system. So this is sort of based on that. So if you use an Arca Swiss tripod with those Arca Swiss plates, it's gonna work with the Peak Design travel tripod. It is very secure. Look, I'm trying to rip this off right now and it's, I'm really giving it some force and it's pretty tight. Nice. This is not a shipping box. Yet, they still shipped it like this. <laughs> Good job, Amazon. <laughs> Literally in big text, and they still messed that up. All right, this is uh, some assembly is required kind of deal. <laughs> I am just making this setup a lot bigger than it needs to be. This is perfect. This is like, uh, what, 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 is, what, are the, what is that scientist? scientific instrument with the thing they can look at the cells and stuff. That's exactly what it feels like right now. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that is some fine mitosis right there. It doesn't look even, it still looks very skewed. I have this sheet right here. Okay, so I was hoping I can do some top-down product videography with this whenever I show off products when I do reviews. Um, but because of how short this thing is and how long the camera setup is, I don't have a lot of room to move the product around. <laughs> if this was a little bit taller, it might be helpful. But with a point and shoot like the RX100, I have a little bit more space to maneuver things around. So you have a smaller camera setup. It actually works pretty well. And things seems to align up more perfectly with this chart than with the full frame. Probably because there's less tension on this now. Probably pulling it back so it's not perfectly aligned. But with this, Oh, it's perfect now. But maybe I'll get something a little bit more dedicated that I can mount to the table uh, to do top-down shots. But this is a pretty good solution for something small. All right, so now we got the Telesyn again, this time for the bigger Sony batteries, the FZ100. So the charging aspect works, though it will only charge one battery to full first before charging the second one. I also don't recommend leaving the batteries in if you want to use it as a card reader because it will literally disconnect you for leeching too much power off your computer. As for the read and write speed, you're gonna get the full capability with the bigger and uglier looking USB. The smaller and more universal one will give you half the capability. As for me, I will stick to my USB SD card Mac dongle that Apple charges an asinine price for because, well, yeah. All right, here we have the Sony camera case. Not aesthetically pleasing like the Peak Design bags, but it still looks really nice in person. So this is what it looks like inside. Super Cinnabar. Here's what the top looks like. Here's the Alpha logo. Hoo-hoo! Nice. If you're an ultra Super Sony Alpha fanboy, you might want to consider this, but <laughs> I'm probably gonna return this. <laughs> I don't need more bags. Oh, hold on. I got the perfect thing for this bag right here. DSLR camera photography. Boom! Now you have helpful photography tips whenever you're out shooting photos. And we also have camera straps. Let's, uh, let's get Vivian to test this out. This looks like a baby holster. <laughs> this looks like the stuff you carry babies with. Oh, it's so ugly. Hey. This is rated highly on Amazon, okay? I don't appreciate your sass. Like this? Yeah. The camera's on my crotch. <laughs> I don't think this is right. I think you're gonna have to adjust this. <laughs> I don't think that's right. That is not right. Were there other designs for this? Yeah. Was this the least ugliest design? If you guys like this, I'm so sorry. This, Don't this, be is, mad this at is where me. you can hide your SD cards. Right here. Where? On my. I was gonna say on my tick. <laughs> you can't say that. Okay, so this is clearly a good product. We're just too incompetent people to not figure this out. <laughs> sure. Wow, look at that. Wow, so cool. Wow. Alright. Wow. That was a terrible demonstration. I apologize. Is this what it would feel like? I was a boy. Way to show off your true nature. <laughs> don't put that in, don't put that in, don't put that in, don't put that in. Okay, so we have the second strap here. This one is much more stylish than the other one. It reminds me of a headscarf. 
I think comfort wise, this would probably hurt more after a while because it's just dangling around my neck. That one, the straps are more comfortable because they're padded. Would you rather be comfortable or you rather look good? I'd rather look good. That's exactly what I said in the video. <laughs> Is that how you would stand when you're carrying a camera bag? I also have my helpful little... What in the... Photography cheat sheet. How come my photo, the background doesn't look very good? Well, what should we adjust? Wow, you want a blurry background? I need a blurrier background. Okay, well, it is. <laughs> uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, I'm done. I don't need you anymore. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Come back. Come I back. Cancel I'm my getting shoot. there. Uh, I, I just saw it today. How do I get blurry backgrounds? Okay. Portrait benefits from pretty background blur, also called bokeh. Use these three things aperture, f stop, depth of field. Depth of field is a relative measure of how much is sharp bit compared to the focus point. The wider the aperture, the lower. And let's not forget our amazing image capturing device, the ZDO Video Handheld Stabilizer. It's like, how am I supposed to even hit the shutter button? It's a terrible photography device. Yeah, you're not gonna capture any pictures with this, all right? This is clearly a false advertisement. So I had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching it as well. And if you want to see more of something like this, let me know in the comments down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.